Hello out there in YouTube land. Old Lugnuts here with a quick review and installation of a LED conversion kit for my good old Maglite flashlight with the uh, good old incandescent bulb. Uh, I picked this up off of Amazon.com. Uh, wasn't cheap. Uh, LED conversion kit for a two to three cell C and D Maglite um, flashlights. I think this was uh, under 30 bucks, uh, give or take. Uh, your pricing may vary. Um, but I figured it was about time to keep the old uh, Maglite uh, kind of up to date. I also picked up a new lens because this one is really scratched up and uh, kind of really disperses the light. So this was fairly inexpensive in the scheme of things. I think it was like maybe five or six bucks, if that, equal as well. Uh, the replacement lens cover is uh, part number 108-000-890 so this is for the uh, Maglite C and D cell units this is Mini Star 5 part number TLE 6EXB from Terralux which uh, most of the reviews are uh, pretty decent, um, although obviously this is probably something you won't see a lot of probably uh, on YouTube or anything else. It's You buy it, you try it, and if it works to extend the life of a good old you know flashlight as well. I've got some uh, new Phoenix LD12s and uh, LD22s that I picked up, but uh, there's nothing wrong with a good old club if it, you kind of need it. So. I'm going to take this apart and uh, follow the instructions and uh, we'll go from there. After safely extracting the uh, lens from the plastic without uh, any resulting blood or anything like that, we can throw that away. Keeping the uh, pretty basic instructions. To install LED, unscrew the flashlight head. And the uh, inside is probably maybe just tidied up a little, maybe a little bit of a dust or two in there. Pretty, uh, pretty fine screws so as you can see there's a lot of turning to get the head off a little bit of dust kind of built up in there and uh, some crud unscrew the retaining collar remove the incandescent bulb as you can see there's a kind of a, a little mount in there and just kind of turn it and unscrew is fairly easy but obviously be cautious you can look in there and make sure there's no corrosion or anything out of the ordinary now this this bulb is still good so I'm going to keep it as a emergency spare for whatever it's worth and we're going to take the the new LED which is surprisingly uh, this is like feather light. This is actually has some weight to it, so I guess whatever is on the inside. Drop it into the socket. Replace retaining collar, turning clockwise to tighten. Trying to do my best to keep my fingerprints off the, the end of the LED itself. So once it gets to the end there, it does it does, does stop. You can't really over tighten it, it seems. Replace flashlight head. So we can check to the O-ring on this seems to be pretty good. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of a paper towel. I'm gonna brush it off. Okay. 
one thing that makes these pretty much water resistant is obviously the degree of tension that's required to get that on. That's really good and good and snug. And then replace the rest of the units. Well, I'm also going to replace the and this actually surprisingly this seems to be plastic and this does feel glass so we'll replace that as well and turn this inside out a little bit just any duster material that might have been in there And there is, notice that that is angled because you do have a piece of, if you can do that, and that's obviously is how you, when you turn the head there to adjust your spot, so you put that in like that. Put the lens cap back on nice and tight. Now, I've got some batteries in here. They're maybe about half gone, so you got to trust me. And I probably should have turned that on before. This is a lot brighter than what it was before with the regular incandescent. I don't want to say night and day is kind of overused, but, uh, you know, if you spent some money years ago for a good old mag light like this, this might actually be worth spending the uh, total of anywhere from like 30 to 40 bucks for a uh, for a decent upgrade especially if that LED is uh, reliable for the for the long-term uh, burn so there you have it Terralux LED conversion kit for a good old mag light uh, that you might be having around for many years well regarded flashlight new glass lens cover this is kind of well, you can't see it, but that's seen better days. So, hey, worth the investment. There you go. See you, YouTube. Quick little update in uh, addition to this YouTubers. I actually just took it apart to put the old bulb back in to give you a quick idea of... There's the uh, original bulb with the amount of light that it throws. And this is factory original. What's there? So I'll just put it back together, put the new LED back in, give you another quick test and comparison. And as a follow-up, I got the LED back in there, all snug backed up. Just to let you know, I didn't mention it's a 140 lumens throw bulb. 17 hours run time, up to 7x brighter than standard bulbs. Well, that I can believe. Um, not a whole heck of a lot of uh, other information. One year warrant, limited warranty as well. So, but uh, if you remember what I just uh, had on there, is the is the new one. So same batteries, no difference in that. Glass uh, glass lens in it now. There you go. Maglite lives again. See you, YouTubers.